Welcome to the Marvelous Designer Introduction Series. In this series, we will cover the different methods of basic garment creation and getting started in Marvelous Designer. In this lesson, we will be using a custom-made pattern image that we are going to trace to make a garment. We encourage you to follow along with this lesson, and the pattern file is available in the description box below. To make it easier to follow along with the lesson, please reset your user settings or make sure your mouse presets are on the three button or regular mouse. If you do not know how to change your settings, please watch our UI video first. For those using Marvelous Designer 9.5 and above, we have grouped more tools together for a cleaner user interface. Please long press the left mouse button on the tool to view a list of all of the tools in the tool group. So to begin, we will be importing our avatar into the workspace. On the left side of the screen, I'm opening the library tab and I'm going to one of my favorites folders, avatars. And for this lesson, I'm going to select mail B and I'm going to double click on the avatar file to import him into the workspace. I don't need the library tab anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and close it with that arrow in that top right hand corner. And the next step is going to be tracing an imported image file. To import my image, I right click the 2D background window and select Add Background Image. This gives us a pop-up giving scale, rotation, and opacity options. And above those is the image file and a little folder icon. Clicking the icon opens a window giving me options to import an image. I have the tutorial folder here that has my pattern in it, and I'm just gonna go ahead and select the image that I want to trace. This imports the image into the 2D window. As you can see, it is way too big for the avatar. So I will use the scale option to resize it to be smaller. Now, not all patterns or images will be the same size or scale, so to get it as close as you can to fit, I'm going to follow along with the shoulder, since this is a shirt. If it is about the same length of the shoulder, then it should be a good fit well enough to build off of for this lesson. It looks like 50% is close enough. It's about to where the lowest point on the shoulder is, so I will go ahead and choose this. I can always resize it later. Feel free to use whatever size you think looks best on your avatar. 50% may not be what works best for you. Once I am done editing my pattern size, I can select OK and the box disappears and I can no longer interact with the image. So next I'm going to trace my pattern. With the pattern tools, I will choose the polygon tool for this. By long pressing the tools, I can select the polygon tool. This tool allows me to create any closed shape. Just clicking makes a straight line segment between points. Holding shift makes a 90 or 45 degree line between the original point you had. And I can create Bezier curves by clicking and holding and dragging on those segment points. Holding control and clicking makes curve points. The cleaner the pattern and fewer segment points you start with, the better it will be for customizing your pattern later. So please use the control key to make any curve lines, just as I do. As well, if I've made any mistakes, I can step back by using the backspace or delete key to do single steps backward without undoing my whole polygon creation. If I did want to cancel my whole polygon, I can just hit Escape or Control-Z. 
Another pattern making tool is the rectangle tool. I can click and drag, or left click without dragging and make a custom size and multiple of that same shape. The same applies with the ellipse tool, clicking and dragging, or left clicking once. I will use the polygon tool and I'm going to trace just half of the pattern, so one back, one sleeve, and one front piece. I am going to start with the center front neck using left click, then as I trace around the curve, I hold control and click to make those points curve points, letting go of the control key to make straight lines. and then I will use the shift key to make a perfect 90 degree line. When the polygon is closed, you will see that the default fabric is selected and the pattern fills with that texture. This texture is not necessary while tracing and it can even block some internal shapes. So going up to the texture toolbar, you will see the eyeball up there you can toggle on and off the Show 2D Textures option. I'm going to turn that off, and now I can continue to trace the back pattern. And next, the sleeve. Now, in this case, I'm only going to trace half of the sleeve. Unlike a normal sleeve pattern, this pattern is the same on the left and the right side, so if I just trace half, I can unfold it afterwards. The Edit Pattern tool allows me to edit lines, and segment points, delete them or turn them into curve points. And when right clicking a line segment, I can unfold or unfold symmetric. So with this tool, I can use it to unfold my sleeve that is on the half with right click and select unfold. Next, I have the edit curvature tool. With this tool, I can adjust a whole line, turning it into a curve or adjust an existing curve line. But if I want more control over the curve, I can use the Edit Curve Point tool, which allows me to edit all of those red points, which are the curve points that we have been placing with the control key. With this, I can also add points to my line, and I can change segment points into curve points with this tool. I can select more than one by right-clicking, or I can use Drag Select. Next, using the Transform Pattern tool and selecting all three patterns through single selection while holding Shift key, or you can click and drag to select them all. Now that all three pattern pieces are selected, we will right click them and choose symmetrical pattern with sewing to make the other half of this shirt. We will then place the symmetrical patterns on the other side of the avatar. Now that they're in place, we can toggle on the 2D textures. We are now done with the background image in the 2D window, so we can remove it from the workspace by right-clicking the 2D window, choosing Add Background Image, and selecting Reset. This removes it from the workspace. Now that the patterns are in place, we can sew them together using the Segment Sewing Tool. We will sew together the front shoulder to the back shoulder, the fronts to themselves, the backs to themselves, the underarms to each other of the sleeve, leaving the side seams and armholes unsewn, just to show you later that we can sew in the 3D window. Toggling on the dual windows again so we can see the avatar and garment in the 3D window. Next, we can place this on the avatar by going into the 3D window and moving our patterns out of the way. 
And then, going to Avatar Display Options and turning on Arrangement Points. We can then place these pattern pieces around our avatar with the arrangement points. As you place the pieces onto the avatar, you will notice that the left and the right sides, which are linked, are placed symmetrically on the avatar itself. Now that the pieces are around the avatar, we can double check our placement, and we can check our sewing lines. Next, we are going to finish the sewing relationships for the side seams and the sleeves by using the segment sewing tool in the 3D window to sew the side seams together, and then for the sleeves. Swapping over to the free sewing tool, in this case, we're going to use the 3D window as a reference to make sure that our sewing is going in the correct direction. There will be a small line in the 3D window indicating the direction of your sewing as you are sewing it in the 2D window. Now that all the pieces are sewn, we can simulate using the normal simulation option or just hitting the spacebar. Now that the garment is sewn together around the avatar, you can play with the shirt on the avatar while simulation is running. So our shirt is done. Let's go ahead and save the file by going up to File, Save As, Garment. I have made a Lessons folder, so I'm going to select that folder as the save location. And I'm going to go ahead and name this file T-shirt block. Now that the pattern has been saved, we can make a cleaner version of this pattern by merging the fronts and the backs together. To do this, we can go up and choose the Edit Pattern tool and right-click the center front line, choosing Merge. This turns that segment line into a mirror line which is a dashed line, indicating that these patterns are symmetrically linked across that half line. So anything you do to one half is applied to the other. And mainly for cleanup purposes, that seam line is no longer there. You can also merge using the Edit Sewing tool by right-clicking that sewing relationship and choosing Merge as well. And as you can see, the other pattern piece pops over there, and they are symmetrically linked across that line, and we can edit them just like the front. We now have a basic t-shirt garment, and a garment with merged symmetrical fronts and backs. And that is it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Here are the links to the next videos in this tutorial series. The order does not matter, but we do recommend watching all of these tutorials as they will feature different methods of beginning creation of basic blocks which you will use later in the tutorial series. If you liked this video, hit the like button below and subscribe for more. If you have any questions about getting started in Marvelous Designer or this lesson, please leave a comment below and we will do our best to answer your questions. If you want more information on Marvelous Designer, check out our website, forum, and official Discord channels, which are all linked in the description box below.